Okay, everybody, how to use Dali number two to design some applications. In this step by step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you what we can do using Dali number two. First of all, we need to understand what exactly is the definition of the UI and, of course, the UX design. So, this one stands for user interface. This refers to all the screen, the buttons, the toggles, icons, and other visual elements that you can interact with using a website, an application, or other electronic device. Now, speaking about the UX, this one stands for or user experience so this one refers to the entire interaction you have with a product including how you feel about the interaction so both the UI and the UX that are the signs can be complemented each other but as you can see those are like very different things so if you want to work speaking about the actual daily number two well there's actually two things we need to actually split our work into two phases the UI the user interface and the user experience now the user interface of of course, we can work here into Dali number two. We can create some kind of icons. We can create some designs. We can create whatever you want to do. But if you want to stay focused into the experience of your application, I can strongly suggest you to use chat gpt now chat gpt is the same tool it's the same company of open ai that can be helping us to create some codes to, to get it start here into this design of applications and all of that so with that being said guys now that we both have the applications now we know what application we're going to be using let's just get it started now the very first thing you need to do is of course to sign up into dali number two it's just really really easy just hit into sign up provide an email provide a passcode provide the verification process and then then you're actually good to go once you are here inside dally number two you're going to be earning 50 free credits of this very first month then you're going to be earning 15 free credits every month after that but if you want to add additional credits you need to buy that so I'm going to get into start creating with Dali number two. And here, if I go into the very upper side, here is my account. And here is my actual 15 credits. If you want to buy more, hit into buy credits. And here you can see the price. You can add more if you want to and hit into continue. Now, how can we get started? The very first thing we need to do here into the actual uh, detail of our prompt, we need to find the character, the description, and of course, what is the technique. For example, let's say that I'm getting started with a restaurant and here into a restaurant, I want to make an application of my restaurant. So let's say that I want to create a 3D render in a yellow background. Why a yellow background? Because I'm pretty sure yellow um, is related into food when you are starving and all that. So, so after that, I'm going to hit into generate. And now, as you can see, I do have four different elements created by Dali number two, and these are totally unique, so I can use that later for myself. So I have four different options that I can choose. In my case, I do love to use only the very second one. And now after that, what I do want to do is to hit into download. And once you have your first definition, this let's say that this is just like an icon. So I can go back into the actual chat GPT. And now let's try to work with the user experience. So here in the chat GPT, you can ask whatever you wanted to. Let's say for example, that I am just um, getting started with a UX design. Help me, help me get started. Get started with the UX design for food application requires careful planning and research. Here are some steps you can follow to begin your project. Define your goals, conduct user research. Um, these are the actual definitions, study the target, uh, map out uh, user flows, that mind the steps. So speaking about the user experience, I have all of the following that of course I need to follow in order to have a very a successful application. Test and iterate. So create high life fidelity prototypes uh, using web frames as starting point. Create detailed prototypes that show the fine look and feel your application. You can create a food app that provides a great user experience and meets the need of the target users. So I said, uh, please make a really easy design to use to get started. Now here's a simple design process that you can follow to get started with your food app UX design. So uh, with that being said, guys, let's say that I now have the idea, the experience of the idea. Uh, and here I do have the images that I can use for icons. For, for example, I can use this for, for, for of course, as an icon. So I can go into some generator of an application, for example, Figma. Now here into Figma.com, what I can do is to import uh, different fields, plugins, widgets, what I can do. For example, I'm going to hit into select all widgets. I have the designs. Here's my prototype. Here is the inspect. For example, this is for an iPhone 14. This is the model. Let's say, for example, this is red. 
here is the background I can change the color if I wanted to based into the actual design that I created I'm gonna focus into something jello and I can create a connection if I do want it to here at my layer here are my assets but this is something like totally totally uh, very different I mean creating an application creating a user interface and creating some user experience totally in our videos so I'm just gonna be focusing to how we can use the dialing number two and the chat GPT to get started so now that we have our experience if you want to add let's say for example more icons I can suggest you to go back and here instead of a burger let's say that I want to look how for some french fries I'm gonna go into 3d render up some French fries and a yellow background. I'm gonna hit into the enter mark. It's really important that you are working into just one project at a time. So Dali number two is gonna be understanding what exactly you are actually looking for. And you have, let's say like the same technique and the same design, the same style into just one project. Otherwise it's gonna be just really, really different. And now as you can see, we do have four different elements here. But just in case that you want to have specific icons, I can strongly recommend you to be really descriptive. So this is the part when we want to talk about the real prompt. So in the real prompt, you want to be exactly as detailed as possible and you don't want to have like really, really strong text and a lot of text here. You just want to focus into what exactly you're looking for. You are actually looking for, for example, a 3D render of some French fries in a yellow background. Let's say a 3D render of four icons of food in a yellow background so as you can see i do have now four different designs that i can choose later on so as you can see for example i have this one and have this one as well i have this one as well so uh you might be wondering that what is going on with this icons if i see only half of that you don't have to worry about that it's pretty common just go into the edit section and here what you want to do is to type the actual section says add generation frame so i want to choose half of my image like this and i want to do exactly the same thing 3d render four icons choose burger french fry soda and salad as you can see i've already created some french fries so i'm going to delete this french fries and i can just focus into the cheese burgers like this and i'm going to hit into generate and take a look into the actual generator it created me a burger and now i can see here that there's a soda so i'm going to go into accept i'm going to go once again into add generation frame and i'm going to go in here and i want to delete now the cheeseburger and i'm just going to go for soda and there we go if you think that this is actually like good to go select this option hit into accept and once again i'm going to go with the add generation frame and here let's say that i don't want to see this icon and lastly Speaking about the user experience, I can ask the ChatGPT, give me a basic code to get started. And ChatGPT is gonna be creating something like this. Here's some sample code in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript that you can use to get started with creating a basic food application. So lastly, what I can do is just to copy this code and paste that into my actual application that of course is gonna be generating the app of the user experience. We are not intending to help you create an application, but we're going to be helping you understand how to use these tools for your own development. With that being said, guys, we have reached into the very end of the video. So hopefully this was very useful for you. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you really want to see more great tools coming from the open AI that generated value number two. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video.